So first off, this is not gonna be a fun one. This is going to be an absolute mind explosion. It was for me, I think it's gonna be for you. This has to be one of the greatest collections in the world as far as vinyl records, stereo equipment, recording equipment. We're talking about acoustic sounds, Chad Cassum. This trip, it literally melted my brain to where if I didn't have the footage, I would swear that I was visited by Will Smith at one point and he stuck that flashy pen in my eye because it's kind of a blur. I'm going to attempt to do this collection and Chad justice to make sure you guys get the gravity of how cool this business and this man is down in Salina, Kansas, here in the Midwest. You have to watch this one. Don't miss this one. This is nuts in a really good way. We'll do another video here pretty soon, focusing on some of the new Analog Productions products, uh, the reel-to-reels, the UHQRs. And in that one, we'll get into the pressing plant and those things a little bit more. In this video, we're just gonna focus on the gear in the collection. And just a couple things. You're gonna see a lot of gear and probably say to yourself, why aren't you talking about that? Why did you just walk by that? And I can't stress enough how much of it there is. Chad was kind enough to give us eight hours or nine hours of his time that day. And I don't even know where he finds time. He must have a manufacturing plant for time. I think he kind of paced us in order to get us through as much as he could in a nine hour time frame. But we, we would have to be there for a week to, to literally even try and put a dent and how big this collection is. And we met up with Chad in the morning at what would be the main corporate office for acoustic sounds. And we didn't walk in there with cameras rolling. Um, I hadn't met Chad. We'd talked on the phone a few times. So where the video picks up, we just started the tour. You ready for the insanity? I mean, this is insane. I wish you all could have been there. These are all London. Uh, we This it was just full of, like we've been just, this area has just been, it's amazing. Like if you had a, a time-lapse camera in this room, right? You, you would just believe like this whole thing would be full. And then now we cleaned it ready to, to process. These are all the originals of the, the Impulse. Here's all the, the, the 100 jazz albums. Oh, Vanderstein's. Mm. You got good taste, man. What did this used to be? This this building. was a. Uh, wow. They had dark rooms downstairs. There were um, engineers and architects. So those are all music matters down there. So that's a denim. That's an old AR. And what I'm doing right here. No, 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 dude. I'm going in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. hold okay, on. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm like that. And I'm going to put up a system where we can just grade the albums real easy. Like, here's the turntable. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just, because, I mean, the way we have it, when you were a Macintosh dealer in the yeah, old days, yeah. you, you had to have For stylus. One. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, look, just. Mm. Very accurate. No, the, no, that's not a very, uh, that's for the, the uh, oh, 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 no, I have oh, a variac somewhere. I bet you do, I bet you have three or four. That's sure. true. Yeah, it's like an old Nagra machine. Well, yeah, it's a uh, Stella Vox. You need an office, man. So this is how, uh, you know, I grade the records or, or, or compare. And then, you know, this is like originals I'm listening to or comparing. These are all test pressings right here. And these are with Doug Sachs ATCs oh, right wow, here. Wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, this is my office and this is what we do here. Here, you'll like this right here. 
course, I can't let you film this part. No problem. No, no. <laughs> Is this your vault? Yeah, it must uh, be the bathroom. I've seen, I've seen the videos of this. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's this like a bunker a, in here. Neumann's. Yeah. Old U87s and stuff? No, 87s. This, this is 67. Ooh. Yeah, Two 67s, and this is a C24. They take those down to the studio every yeah, once in a while? Uh, or? Yeah, well, we need to use it. This is a Beatles collection for Japan. Nobody's hardly ever seen that thing. Um, Played it, it sounds freaking amazing. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah, that's one that needs some love. Yeah, if you're looking for a nine, is this the one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe most of that stuff don't sound that good, but that thing was amazing. Oh, yeah, man. there's some great players. See, I've been, I've been looking and learning because that's not really my. Yeah, my area of the stuff well, I that's like. Why, hey, I'm, I'm telling you, when when I saw Elephant on reel to reel, that's when I was like, okay. I'm, I'm taking my heads off. I'm shipping them to New Jersey. They're gonna relap them, and then I'm gonna get the same calibrated. Uh, John French. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, you went to the best. Yep. Nice guy too. Man. Oh yeah, no, he's a cool dude. Yeah. yeah. See that cement reinforced. Yeah. I mean, this is. Yeah, yeah. Total. Yeah, this is where you're coming in a tornado. Yeah. That's I think what they built it for. You see, like, see all the ages. Yeah. You know that. I mean, we were comparing, comparing, but finally. We nailed it, you know what I mean? And so, what was your favorite? So as original, far as the OGs. Oh, the, original, the original? Yeah, yeah the, the original. Oh, dude, there you yeah, go, man. Yeah, yeah, there you go. This took, dude, this took a long time Holy. to come up with. This is a... Uh, uh, the Reco? Right, yeah. And then, you know, Thorns 126, Pioneer, the Empires, the Young. I have never seen this in person. Then this is... Goes around. <laughs> Morantz, linear track, and Lynn. A Tiak. You ever seen those? No. Uh -huh. It looks like a, a 401. I got those. I, right I saw it over there. I, I, I saw Here's it. an AR. This is the AR I yeah. had when I was a teenager. XB. Oh, that's your original? No, no. Oh, but okay. It's sure, 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 sure. Yep, yep. I know every time I say that, this is a, a, a Corian, back when Corian was rare. And then I love, look at this, this, uh, wow, Kenwood. Wow. I like the odd. Yeah, things. yeah. I mean, you got a couple of lenses. Like this Ooh, right yeah. here. Soundburger and the, yeah. And this is a uh, Oracle. And you got your uh, RCA stacker. Yeah, then the. Ooh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a 124, a 224, a 126, a 226. That's a 226. See how wide it is? Yeah. So I got a 124, 224, 126, 226. This you ever is a Luxman. It, it lifts the record. It's almost like a jukebox and then brings it over and sets it down. That's a Luxman. Yeah, that's a nice Luxman. And these are the little things that I I want to put in the display. Edison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good when the power goes out. Yeah, there you go. And this is uh, Buddy Lee. Oh, they, cool. Lee, the guy from Lee Jean started here in Salina. What is that? Cartridge? Is that an eight? Oh, pack? yeah, dude, this is cool. This could have been, this could be master tapes. I got that on vinyl, but I've never. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, the, and you can find it on YouTube where they show the machine. The only low quality part was the machine that that played this. Huh. If they had a good player for this, dude, this would have been yeah. still the shit. But I mean, look how high quality all this yeah, is. Yeah, totally. And, and, it, and it protects the tape and. Yeah. That is I've never really, seen. I've never seen. Yeah. Either, See, I love stuff oh, like this. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, we're both suckers for yeah. the big stereo brand. Yeah. Or, yeah, 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 any of yeah. the Esquivel and. Oh, Esquivel. Yeah, some of that sounds killer. I love these radios like this yeah. too. You know, yeah. the look. 
That's old. Look how old the wow. Crosley. They've wow. been in business a long time. Wow. This, I love this. Yeah. The voice of music, man. They made killer stuff. They made really good amplifiers. But most of the, like, a lot of the changers were VM made and they just rebranded them. I mean, I just like the look. Well, it looks like a 57 Chevy, man. Yeah. yeah. Thorns, look dude. at the, uh, oh yeah. And then I love this poster. Ooh. I have most of it. It's funny, the ones they chose to yeah. put on here are the ones I like. Yeah. I still want to find um, this right here. Oh, God, yeah, what's it called? Uh, Coda. I think. Yeah, there you go. It's German. So I've got the preamp to go with that. Yeah. Ooh, and then I like cool. that, that Kenwood right there. Good. Yeah, yeah, these things are a nightmare, but they're cool as hell. That's really cool. So, this is like the first Moran's preamp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, audio consulate. Oh, wow. I got Moran's people that would just lose their mind over that. I got a 1250. That's and the then the, Yeah, the spec. This thing they couldn't fix, that techniques. Oh, yeah. 90s or late 80s, it's a nightmare. Yeah, and then here I need that's, to get... That's the goods right there. Yeah. I might send you back with that. Yeah, dude, I've gone through tons of these. Yeah, I like the way they look. Yep, me too. I like these. Yeah, yeah. well, this was what's cool here. Uh, right here, yeah, Class A or Class AB. Too. Oh, you know what? I've been looking at this. I've been collecting Ooh, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get them in there one. They're usually trash. Yeah, these you know, I couldn't believe. Kids. Most of them are ripped out, you know, through yeah. here. So, yeah, these are redone. These are the, when I, my aha moment when I first. When I first got into audio, I mean, I was always into audio. I had, you know, the 2270, the AR and that. Yeah. But I had been buying the Half Speed Masters and I never heard the difference because I was expecting, you know, your expectations. You know, it has yeah. these big hype stickers, the difference you will hear. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't being blown away. So I went to a friend of mine's house. He had these Mordash Schwartz speakers. He started pulling out the half speeds. I said, man, those things ain't shit. He goes, listen, man, sit in the middle right here. Sit in the middle. Listen for these things. It's subtle. You know, you can't yeah. expect the band's not going to jump out the speakers and slap you about the face. Sure. It's subtle. Listen how quiet. Listen to the noise floor, how low. And so I sat in the middle. I said, why you want me to sit in the middle? Just trust me. Sat in the middle, I kept talking, he said, Chad, if you don't shut up, you're never gonna hear anything. Just give me five minutes, give me one song, and I'll demonstrate it. And he explained how to listen to where I wasn't expecting, you know, like the, the band to play live. So it was on these speakers, right, these exact speakers, that I got my light bulb moment, that would have been in 1984. And that's really what created all of it. And there's these right here. Because, you know, all of a sudden, and then when I got back to Kansas, they had a shitload of the rarest MoFi's, the original UHQR's, everything. Yeah. So that's what helped the whole thing get started. Yeah, those are cool. They look like the OG stands too and everything. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, well here, here's, um, these are a bunch of empires. I'm going to sell these. Yeah. You know what I mean? They need, yeah. they all need work. The kit meant uh, a Mac kit. It sold for four, but I had a pair, 
actually the Macintosh book, the three of the ones I had were in the book that they made. My, one of my employees had them. They were like cherry, cherry mint. Yeah. And um, I shouldn't have sold them. I shouldn't have sold them. See, this is where it checks everything. We've got two SP10 Mark IIs and two SP... So Damn. three Mark IIs and two Mark Threes. Damn, yeah, yeah. These are some bunch of uh, duck sacks. These are two Vamps, his brother. All the duck sacks and stuff was custom. Yeah. This is all uh, the amps that his brother made. Here's a bunch of uh, his monitors. So they're Altec and EV. This is um, an MCI tape machine. There's a MCI uh, 24 track. How many times am I gonna say wow today? Every time <laughs> we go into a room, I'm like. These are all just extra heads we have. These are the ATC speakers. This is Doug Sachs console. This is uh, the mastering, Doug Sachs mastering. This is an original Jim Marshall right here. Signed by Jim Marshall. You can see him in the, uh, it's my favorite artist, Lightning Hopkins. You see Jim in the reflection. Cool, yeah. And that's an original sign. These are, these are cutter heads right here. They're like worth. Oh yeah, you use those sparingly, don't you? Mastering one as that's a 10, yeah. Yeah. And plus, I mean, that's 10 with that. That's a good MCI. I've got another good MCI in there. I've got two Studer. We've got two Studer A80s, uh, three MCIs, and 10 ATRs. These are the Doug Sachs 10 R Super Gold monitors. So this is where Matt makes his tapes. One off of Master to run the tapes. Here's a, a Studer A80 right here. I got two of these. I've got to stop the tour right there only because it would be wrong of me not to tell you about my experience of sitting down in this listening room and listening to this Air Force One turntable. Um, I didn't even know they existed. You know, this turntable cost more than my house did six years ago, you know, so it's obviously very out of my price range. Um, I don't know a lot about it. I've done a little bit of digging since then. From what I understand, the record actually gets pulled into the platter. That's why it's called the Air Force One. And I definitely want to tell you what I thought about it. Chad started off with a couple of blues songs, and I didn't make any requests. You know, I wanted to hear what Chad wanted me to hear. And they sounded phenomenal. They sounded incredible. Of course, I mean... You, there's just no way with this room and this level of equipment, it could be anything other than the best, the best. But after a couple of blues songs, I start to hear the intro to no quarter by Led Zeppelin. And I, I was like, okay, now we're talking. The intros never sounded that good before. <laughs> Not only do I know this song really well, it's definitely one of my favorite Zeppelin songs. And I mean, I had goosebumps from head to toe, and I have never heard that song sound like that before. There were there were textures in Bonham's drums that I had never heard before. 
the drums I noticed the biggest difference in, but when people say three dimensional, I get it. I mean, that was absolutely three dimensional. It was almost holographic. And while I've heard systems kind of give off that, that holographic or 3d imagery, this was a whole new level. And, um, I just, I, I remember just trying to be in the moment as much as I could and remember as much as I could, but you have to think, you know, I, I'm just a guy from Iowa that's sitting on Chad Kassam's couch and he's playing me music. So to say that I remember everything from listening to that song is just not reality. I mean, everything's a blur, but from what I do remember, it, it, it was absolutely mind blowing. I would definitely love, you know, no offense to Chad by any means, but I would love to be in that room by myself and listen to music because I think it would even take it to another level. So Chad was gracious enough to even take us back to his office and play us some more records. And this system is maybe the most important system anywhere in any of the buildings in that this is where Chad listens to various pressings of the same record to figure out which one is the best copy and then to beat it when they put out their UHQR or their analog productions copy. Um, this is where the real critical listening happens. We listen to Steely Dan. We listen to more Led Zeppelin. He played us a couple of tracks that aren't available to the public. Um, records that were recorded in the church studio that he owns. And those were insane. I hope he puts those out. Eric and I both listened to those. And I didn't realize these were live recordings. When the audience comes in at the end, um, I was shocked that that audience was just that attentive the whole time and that these songs and this production was a live recording it's it's insane that was another place at another time sit out on the front porch in the evening when the sun went down it would be really cool if chad at some point does put those out because those were outstanding recordings and this is where our day ended um it was getting to be about eight or nine o'clock at night we still had a six hour drive um chad is a machine i don't know how he does all of this there were definitely moments throughout the day that and i i, I even looked at the camera at one point and said snozberries taste like snozberries and really that's because i'm thinking in my head i'm like this, this guy's willy wonka this is the the chocolate factory for audio and coming up here soon i will be doing a review on the uhqr and the reel to reel uh, white stripes elephant by analog productions and i think in that video we'll show a little bit more of the quality control the pressing plant and some of that other footage that we have if you want to learn more about acoustic sounds and chad's other companies there is a documentary we will link it in this video you need to watch that it really shows everything that goes into the process of making these premium audio products also uh, chad has a youtube channel definitely go like and subscribe and follow him there because he's always putting out information on upcoming projects new releases that are coming out so you'll stay in the loop on any future releases that you might be interested in and um, again can't thank you guys enough for watching another video i really hope we we're at least able to give you a small glimpse into the magnitude of this operation and um, the the crazy world of chad Cassum because it is amazing um, can't thank him enough time of my life so thank you all very much i do appreciate it